Guatemala's Congress building ablaze, ignited by protesters angered at a controversial new budget. The demonstrators had forced their way into the empty buildings on Saturday, although were quickly dispersed by riot police as firefighters moved to contain the fire. There were further protests across Guatemala City. Thousands gathered in Central Plaza. They say the budget was negotiated in secret and will not benefit the people. There is no way to show our anger, how fed up we are. We are tired of so much abuse by the authorities. They are getting into debt. The people are tired and will not tolerate any more. The budget saw cuts to education, health spending and social programs, but increased politicians' expenses. Critics say the budget benefits private companies that have links to the government. The budget was the straw that broke uh, the camel's back. Uh, but the thing is that people were upset at the government, uh, mostly because during the pandemic, the government back in March raised money that it was supposed to be for economic aid. But the aid never made it to the people who, who needed it the most. So that's the main um, concern of people. Guatemala's president, Alejandro Giamete, condemned the violent protests on Twitter, saying those who participated will be punished with the full force of the law. His vice president says the budget should be vetoed. It is in the country's interest that we both tender our resignations, him as president and I as vice president of the republic. Guatemalans complain the budget was passed when the country was busy dealing with the devastation caused by two hurricanes alongside the pandemic. The World Food Programme says Guatemala is already one of the most unequal countries in Latin America. And on the streets of the capital Guatemala City, police cracked down hard on protesters. I was walking and they grabbed me. I didn't do anything. I have my constitutional right to strike. But many say they have nothing to lose and will continue to protest until their demands are met. Laura Bader Manley, Al Jazeera.